husband and wife producing team Mark Burnett and Roma Downey stop by to talk about their latest faith-based project, AD, The Bible Continues, which continues right where their hit Bible series left off. Why did you feel strongly, in addition to the ratings, that you wanted to continue the series? I think the Bible, with 100 million viewers, just showed everybody, okay, this deserves to be on network TV. Yeah. It looks epic. This Jesus cult grows stronger by the hour. Soon it will draw every crackpot and revolutionary into Jerusalem. You guys have actually done a tour going around to churches across the nation. What do they say to you? People are loving it. They're saying that AD is kind of the Bible meets House of Cards <laughs> meets Game of Thrones. Wow. Are you or are you not the Messiah? I am. How did you go about casting Jesus this go round? It's a difficult role to cast, to find someone who can present themselves with the right amount of strength and beauty and compassion. And we found him in Juan Pablo. He's grown up around the church, he's an Argentinian, and his mother is a religious painter who has a wow. painting in the Vatican. Throw camera, action. I want to know, working together, when you have a like disagreement how something should be shot or produced, how do you work that out? <laughs> He's the boss. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> I'm, I'm married to an angel. Who is going to take my side over Roma in a production disagreement? No one. I, I've lost before I even started. And we're still speaking to each other. <laughs> <laughs> and he still has the beard. Most of the time. Uh, yeah, no Roma one told me that she thought the beard was sexy. I heard Roma <laughs> tell someone yesterday, the beard is not long for this world. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you say that. So is it coming off? I think, you know, it could be on its last legs. Really? Let's put it that I'll way. I'll shave it off for charity. <laughs> or on its last hair. Yeah. They're such a powerful duo. They're actually doing a remake of Ben-Hur.